Hello viewers, it's Vivs here from Slider. Welcome to bug fixing round 2. In this video, this is what I'm going to show you. You open the drawer, the floating action button disappears. You close the drawer, the button reappears again. You can do that with the button as well, the end result is the same. I thought I would go here to the second tab in this video and display the details of each movie inside a card view. But this floating action button bug is something which people have been asking me since a lot of videos and therefore I will fix that in this video. Let's go. If you go to my channel Slide Nerd, we are in playlists where we are talking about material design in video number 55. Previously I talked about shared element transitions and I would like to continue that with a real example. But first, let's fix this. There are several ways to achieve this effect. For starters, let's go to activity main to our method setup floating action button or build fab or whatever I have called it at the time you're watching this video. So inside this method, I have this variable which is mfab which is basically the floating action button and there is mfab menu which is the floating action menu. Now both of them were local variables in my previous videos but right now they are instance variables because I need access to those variables so that I can hide them and show them when the drawer opens and closes and therefore I made it that way. If you go to the drawer, we have our action bar drawer toggle which is basically a drawer listener. When the drawer is completely open, the on drawer open method will be called one time. And when the drawer is completely closed, the on drawer close will be called one time. So inside these methods, you can get a reference to your activity and you can directly hide or show your floating action button. The idea would be simple. In the activity main, you would have two methods like hide and show. In that, you will simply set the visibility to visible or invisible and then call those methods from here. But I have followed a different approach which would be using the on drawer slide. If you remember, while the drawer is opening or closing, there is a drawer slide method which has this slide offset. When the drawer is fully closed, the offset is 0.0. .0. When it's fully open, it's 1.0. Now this method gets called a large number of times if you have seen my earlier videos. What I simply do is get a reference to my activity here and call the on drawer slide on that activity. Now remember, by default, any activity doesn't have such a method. This is a custom made method. If you go to activity main, I have made a method down there which is called build, which is called on drawer slide. You notice there's a float and there's slide offset and inside this method, I'm simply calling something toggle translate floating action button. The idea is simple. In the toggle translate, I'm going to check who's null, who's not null, and based on that, I'm going to simply translate them along the x axis. When the slide offset is 0, 0 into 200 is 0, and that would be the translation. But when it is 1.0, then 1.0 is 200, that means it will be translated 200 pixels in the right side. That means the floating action button will go out of the screen. You can keep any value you want. I have just kept 200. So let's run the app and find out if this works or not. So now when I run the app, you'll notice that we immediately have a bug. The drawer is open and the floating action button is visible here. This is not something we wanted, but take a look at this. This is even more weird. If you close the drawer, the floating action button comes in. If you open the drawer, it goes out. If you do that with the buttons again, it's working perfectly. So what was that issue that we initially saw? And that issue is for the very first time the drawer is started. In other words, if you go to settings and if you go to our app and if you try to clear the data for our app, which means the shared preference is going to be erased, which contains the value whether the drawer was previously shown to the user or not. If you go back to our app and restart it, you will notice the same bug again. This exists only for the very first time. And believe it or not, the bug is basically because of one simple reason. If you go to fragment drawer. Here, if you notice the order of the things that we have done, we have first defined the action bar drawer toggle, and then we have the drawer listener set on that, and then we have this drawer layer post, and ultimately we have the if statement here which checks whether the drawer should be shown to the user if he is watching this for the first time or not. This method on drawer open does not get called at all the very first time, and I actually wondered what to do here. It's a very tricky issue, and there are probably several ways to do this, but the fix that worked for me was very simple. What I did was this code which says if the drawer has never been shown to the user and if this is not coming back from a rotation, I simply take this if statement and I put it inside the drawer layout.post right here. 
In other words, when the drawer toggle is going to sync its own state, after that I perform the check and then I display the drawer. Now when I do this, the on drawer opened is actually called. Let me show you that. If you run the app right now, so there's our app and if you notice, there is no floating actions button. Again, if minimize, it comes, maximize, it goes. Again, you can do the same with the buttons and it's going to work the same way. If you go back and if we try the same experiment which we previously did by going to apps, OWEBS and we cleared the data. So let's go back to the app now and notice that this time again there is no floating action button. So this is one of the workarounds I found. What do you think about this? Why would such a thing happen? Do let me know in the comments below because I would like to hear it from you guys. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a